Welcome in all my friends and a big welcome to all my new friends. Lazy Retired Granny here. It is Monday, March 25th, 2024. The time is 5.09 a.m. here in still dark Salem, Oregon. And I am continuing my journey on Diamond Art Club's Anticipation of the Day Ahead by Chuck Pinson. You know what? Let me get my other picture out. What am I thinking? There we go. How about that? And this is a 36.6 inches by 27.6 inches or 93 by 70 centimeters. It has 59 colors, which include four ABs, which stands for Aurora Borealis, which are drills that have a special effect coated on them, and they are great for creating extra shimmering effects on the diamond painting. And I have made my journey over into this portion of the canvas. So I will have completed this bottom portion, hopefully in the next couple days. But right now, I'm, I'm right in here. And then we'll be moving on up. And I have my caffeinated coffee beside me with French vanilla creamer. And let me take a gulp. And, as promised, underneath the candle lamp today, I have switched it up and we're doing warm cookies. Mmm, sweet milk, creamy butter, and vanilla. And I got this at Hobby Lobby on their 40% off sale, which is not this week on candles and diamond paintings. But next week, back on sale again. Okay, so to start off, I just want to say when I fired up the, the computer this morning and saw how many new friends I had, wow, it just warmed my heart. I was tickled pink. I was bursting with happiness and love. So thank you everybody who's pressed that friend button, aka subscribe button. I don't like that na num name. I like friend button better. So yeah, so welcome in. I am so happy that you are joining us. So today we're going to start off with an email. And this email is from January. And let me just say, I love it when you guys send me emails that I can share here on the channel with other friends. And January says, just wanted to give you an update. Here are my March completions and the whip I am kidding up today. It's my very first 40 by 70 centimeters painting to dip my toes into the larger painting pool. Wow, January, you've come a long ways in your diamond painting. I am so proud of you. It just warms my heart that you, you're doing that. So let's look at all, all of what she sent. And now she says, the cozy chair and fireplace. She says she's not an orange person, but for some reason this painting kept calling to her. So she just had to get it and then started painting it the same day it arrived. Then her March monthly one is the truck series, her March dessert cup, and April showers gnomes. She just finished this one, well, it went in yesterday, and she loves it. And her favorite part is the cobblestone walkway. And then finally, here's the pic of the whip that she's kidding up called Beach Vacation. So let's take a look at these. So, oh my gosh. 
Look at that. Yeah, it does have a lot of orange in it. Doesn't that look comfy? Oh my goodness. I like that. I love that fireplace. Oh, look at that comfy chair. Curl up in the chair with the book and that fireplace. Oh, yeah. I like that. Okay. And then her next one, her monthly, I think. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Look at all that green. That goes with, did you share that on um, Diamonds by Tita on her Facebook page? Sorry, I haven't been over there. I need to get over there again. Yeah, you need to share that one if you haven't. So let me know if you did. That is really cute. I like the checkerboard in the back. Okay. And our next one is her March. Lucky March. That's cute. That turned out really good. I mean, for small uh, painting, that turned out really good. Okay. Oh, isn't that cute? Look at those fluffy um, clouds in the back. The cobblestones. I love cobblestones. Yeah. A lot of my landscapes have cobblestones in them. Boy, you have been busy this month. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that. Now that is a beach scene. As long as those waves don't come up on the sand. <laughs> the surfboard's in the back. Looks like a sailboat. The seagulls. You got everything in that thing. Yeah, I like that. I can hardly wait to see the completion on that. Thank you for sharing, January. I really, I like to see what everybody's doing. And a lot of people don't have channels or, um, you know, so it's nice to share, being able to see people's, what they're doing and, all that good stuff. So keep those emails coming. And then also, your comments. I love reading your comments. Um, I'm going to be going in today and getting caught up on those. I try to do them once, or, once a day or maybe <clears throat> once every two days, depending on what's going on. So, uh, but yeah, I love reading those and... Seeing what you're doing and, you know, yeah, tell me a little bit about yourself. Just respond to me. So, yeah, so we got that. So we're going to turn on the light here. I'm really loving that, that cover I got from my light. So I don't keep shutting it off all the time. So... And I'm using my new pin from Amazon that glows in the dark. Although, it's not dark in here, so you can't see it glow. <laughs> but if you see my unboxing from Amazon, you can see that it does glow in the dark. And it is pretty. But it kind of has a greenish glow to it. I don't know if it'll... I got too much light, can't see. So anyway, that is that. So where are we at? We're working on color 38, which are the capital T's. There's a lot of them in here, which is color 934. So let's look up 934 and see what color it is. Black avocado green. And yeah, we've done those before, haven't we? All righty. Let me put my dollar store readers on. And let's see. Where am I at? Did I finish this corner? I did. Now I'm moving over there. So I move my little silicone mat over so I can lay my tray on it. 
There we go. And we are off and a running this morning. And I am doing the checkerboard. There's so many T's. I mean, this would be a multi-placer heaven. But I am not a multi-placer. One of these days, maybe I'll get brave and try it again. Most people that I hear from like the four-placer the best. One of these days, I will, I will do that. So I am up and at them early this morning because, yep, I have a busy morning. I'm finally going to go get my running around done today that I said I was going to be doing for the last three or four days and haven't done it. I just... I don't know what it is, but I just don't want to go out and about. <laughs> I really enjoy staying home and I don't know. It, it's weird. All right, I'm going to put you on pause for just a second. If I can find my arrow. Okay, be right back. Okay, I am back. I am multitasking this morning. <laughs> um, yeah, I got... Um, I'm doing laundry this morning, and I forgot that... Um, I wanted to get that going before I started talking with you guys, and... Then I heard the little bing, bing, bing. My washing machine was done. I wanted to get the clothes in the dryer. Um, so, yeah, so that's done. They're in the dryer now. So, here's what's going on today. So, yeah, so I got four tasks to do this morning out and about. And... Possibly five. I'm going to see how I do. And, uh, yeah, I got to... Um, let's see. I have some boxes to take in, drop off, and then go to the bottle drop, go to Walmart and fill up my water bottles. And oh, and then drop some stuff off to donate to the thrift store. And the possible fifth thing that I'm going to be doing is um, going to the farm and feed store to get Ellie that um utter balm yeah because she's it's just about out i have got to get some more that stuff is a miracle medication and i do get the medicated one um not just the plain one because it has an antiseptic in it and it is great for hot spots or scrapes or you know whatever it lasts a long time I think I got this one oh my gosh probably been two or three years ago
just need to use a little bit. And it's a salve type of thing, you know, like Neosporin. And, uh, so anyway, yeah, so I should just make myself go do it today um, because I am going to be out and about probably Friday because that is payday. And I go out, get my bills paid, pay the rent, all that good stuff. So I have a lot of little things. And I'm, I have to go to Costco. Now, Costco is kind of a waste for me. But <clears throat> I have to get Ellie some more dry food. So. <clears throat> and. I'll go ahead and get gas at Costco because it's usually cheaper there. And yeah, so that's going to take me a little bit longer. So I've got two what I call major trips away from home. <laughs> We'll see how I do. I don't know what it is, but I just would rather be home in my safe zone, I guess. I get all the teas finally. Uh, I've been on these teas, it seems like a long time. I think I got them all. All right. So, hopefully they all fit back in here. I just had to fill this back up again. just barely make it <laughs> yay they all fit in there all right so we deserve a sip of coffee He's nice and hot. Just came out of the microwave. <laughs> All right. So I think, hmm, I think the Ys are next down here. Okay. And the Y should have, I think it's 50. Nope. I'm wrong. It's 39. <clears throat> And 39 is 9.35, which is color. Nine thirty-five. Avocado green. I've made pretty good progress on this, actually. I'm real happy with how it's going. There's a lot of areas that are kind of, sort of, 
color blocking. Um, those tees, though, they were all over the place. So I hope I got them all. If not, we'll just get back out that color and get it added. So yesterday, um, oh, before I forget, a couple of you mentioned, <laughs> oh my gosh, what a silly subject, my lawn mowing. <laughs> oh my gosh, who would have thought that would make a good topic of conversation? <laughs> I just laugh, oh my gosh. Um... So, here's the deal on my lawnmowers. <laughs> you know, um, the first lawn mowing that I did was back, I think, in February. And all I was doing was just doing a little bit of a trim because the lawn was so, so long. But, oh, there's a T I missed. But, you know what I'm going to do? out one of my little tiny trays here and I'm just going to put some teas in it um now I forgot what that was t 38 I'm just going to put a few drills in here so if I did uh, that's more than a few isn't it Put my bottle here so I don't forget what I'm doing. Um, I can just put those in and get those ones that I missed. Um, so, we had a few dry days. And so I got out there and just kind of trimmed up a little bit. And that went okay. Well, then... We had some dry days, and I got out there with the lawnmowers, and that was a train wreck for me. Everything went wrong. Um, and the grass was so, so long. So I had it on high because I was just, you know, the first time I was just trimming it up a little bit, so I had it on high. Plus, it was still so wet out there you know and you know how it is when you're trying to mow and the lawn's still wet yeah not a fun experience but i wasn't too concerned the very first mowing well then the second mowing we put it on high and it was i mean i had more issues with lawn mowing than i've ever had and so then the second mowing that I did, it went a lot better. Um, and I did put the lawnmower down a notch, but I can't put it down too far because it is still damp out there. It's not soaking wet, but if I put it down too, too much, then it's... It's just a nightmare to mow because I have to keep, you know, unclogging the lawnmower all the time. So, um, it's funny because my son said he thought, you know, now I could put it down another notch. And yes, we do regulate those as the season progresses <laughs> so as soon as it gets good and dry yeah that lawnmower will be down so it gets a shave and no I am not under the septic tank is not near me 
the septic tank is actually out in the our field in front and doesn't run underneath my grass so um, yeah I do I don't know what it is but it just grows so fast and I do think it has miracle growth underneath it um, <laughs> But when I first moved in here, and I have been here three years next week. So the first year I was in here, the grass, um, I was having issues with it. And so, um, I did buy a fertilizer from Chewy and because it was pet friendly, well, it, I don't know, um, if that is staying on the grass <laughs> I don't know um, but I did yeah I researched and researched because I needed to get pet friendly and so anyway um, it is a weed and feed type of thing that um, yeah that they use in the pastures for cows and horses and stuff. But anyway, um, that's the only thing I've ever put on it. And that was three years ago. And so that's the only thing I've ever done. So the only other thing I can think of is that Farmer Glenn next door, he sprays a lot out in his fruit orchard, or not orchard, but I don't know what you'd call it. He's got a bunch of fruit trees that is to the side here. It's a big area and I don't know unless that spray comes over and goes on my grass and it's making it go cuckoo I don't know and then they do a lot of spraying on the other side <clears throat> you know for the cherry orchard and I'm not for sure what they do out there. I am not a farmer, so yeah, it's just but anyway, it doesn't really matter, but yeah, it just grows and it's so pretty in the when it's, um, you know, spring, fall, winter. But boy, I tell you, in the summertime when it starts getting warm, this grass is a battle to keep green. And I know that we have two neighbors and they just, they don't water, they don't anything. They just let it go brown and then theirs comes up nice and green and whatnot. So, um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do this year. 
no watering. It's just going to die off and then maybe come back more healthy as far as getting rid of whatever is attracting the bees. Because I've mentioned before, Ellie is allergic to bees. And during the summertime, I have to be out there with her constantly. She is not, she cannot be out by herself. Um, because I do have to make sure she stays away from the bees and the bees stay away from her. It's a real comic show out there with me. I'm very overprotective of her. And believe me when I tell you it is not fun for her or me when she gets stung. She, her um, throat swells up. Yeah, she's got to go immediately to emergency. And they do whatever um, they do. She's actually one time had to uh, spend the night. They had to keep her on whatever it is. Um, but fingers crossed she has not gotten stung for quite a few years so um yeah it's just it's better well it's better controlled here because she has a smaller area than where we used to live she can't Um, where we used to live, she had her own dog park, and yeah, lots of space, and so it was a lot easier for her to get stung, and then during the summertime, um, I had a pen, you know, she could go outside, she could go potty, she could roam around, but it was very small, and, but it was easier for me to watch her. I couldn't watch her in the big field. But here, um, she has her own, you know, the front yard that's fenced. And, uh, but she knows if I say, Ellie, the bees are out, she'll come running and she'll come inside. I don't know what in the world that they like in my grass, but they do love it. All right, now we're ready to move up here to the Y's. And it is coffee time. Oh, I was going to, I think it was Margie was saying that she had one of the same paintings as I have. And she said, paint along? <laughs> you bet ya. You know that I love to do canvases with other friends. I did, it came up as a, I haven't responded to you yet. I will. Um, but yeah, I'm gamed. Um, but not until I get through all of this. And then I got to find that painting. And 
then I got to mark it that you want to do it together. Yeah, I love doing canvases with with my friends. It's not a paint along. It's just I don't know what you'd call it. I need a name for it. What do you guys think? When you just, um, there's just a few of you doing the same painting or, um, yeah, there's, I need a good name. A lot of Y's right through here. Look at all the Y's up there. Wow. Let's see. Maybe I better just do... Let's start over here. I didn't realize there were so many. many checkerboards I can do here in this section. any T's over here so that's good all right I think I'll finish this one off over here I didn't go over to Dreamer today. I don't know if they've posted, started posting their new canvases for the week or not. <clears throat> I do have a couple in my heart list. Of course, the ones I want are out of stock. I think I mentioned that I'll be doing unboxings on Saturday. You'll see those um, from Dreamer. Obsessed. That's me. I love Dreamer Designs. Two more sitting here that I gotta do unboxings for. Luckily, the last two weeks they haven't had anything that was floating my boat, and that's okay because. I'm waiting for restocks to come in. to get when I get back from my travels today I want to sit down and I my goal is to get this area done today uh, that's a pretty big goal I think 
but I'm going to try. I started re-watching Midsummer Mur uh, Mist Murders. Um, oh my gosh. I, I think I told you that yesterday. Those one-liners in there, it, they just cracked me up. I love cozy mysteries. Does anybody else subscribe to Acorn TV? Um, yeah, I need, um, I'm thinking about going back to BritBox for a bit because I do want to watch Vera. They have a couple shows on there that, that I like. Unfortunately, um, I guess like with a lot of streaming services, they only sell their programs to one streaming service. So, of course, that makes you get, you know, some different streamings. And sometimes, like on my Roku, I can get free services, but, um, and I don't mind commercials and stuff, but I just don't like it when, oh yeah, you can watch this for free here, and it only gives you a couple that you can watch for free, then you have to, you know, go over and buy the rest of the seasons from a streaming service. It's like, well, why didn't I just do that in the first place if I wanted to watch the whole thing? And then I wouldn't have had to live through all the commercials. And it would have not taken me so long to watch it. Okay, so I got that corner done. I got a bit of a glare here. I need to move my light just a tad. Okay, I think I'm going to do these down here next. So last night, all right. I did some reading. Now, all right, all you fans of of um I always forget the name of it, Outlander. All right, I am getting a little antsy in this book. So, I'm in book 4. All right. Now, Claire and Jamie are now in the colonies and, you know, they're, they got some land and I guess, I don't know, this land, they're, I'm confused because is this land that belongs to his aunt or is he just staking a claim? I don't know. I was confused on that. It's like, Oh, you just found some land that you wanted and you just do your thing. I thought back, you know, then the 1700s that you had to stake the land, you know, and tell somebody that it was yours this is what you wanted I don't know none of that makes any sense to me but anyway 
um, they're doing that. And then it was flash to 1970. And Roger finds out that... Well, I don't want to give away some of this because I know some people are reading the books, but... So, if you've read the books, you can explain this to me in the comments. So, he found out what happens to Claire and, and Jamie in their, on their land. And he's debating whether to tell Claire's daughter about it. And then, like, before, it would always tell you, you know, at the beginning of the chapter, okay, it's 1970 or it's 1776 or, you know, whatever. Um, this time it didn't do it. And then it just went, the next chapter went right into Claire and what she's doing. And it's like, skips ahead some time and... So we're missing part of the story right there. Um, so where it, you know, left them, they were just starting to build. And now, fast forward and, you know, they've got settlers coming now and, and all that. And she is traveling to... Other places, you know, to do her doctor thing. So I'm not really for sure what's going on there. But, um, so yeah, I'm a little bit, and Claire goes to Jamie's aunt's house for stuff. She's traveling there. But I guess Jamie's not. Um, I don't know. There's a whole section of life that is... So, I don't know. The way this book reads is that you get confused and then, you know, 200 pages later, the next book, you find out the rest of the story that you were confused about. Um... But where I'm at now is that she is coming back from treating somebody and it's raining and hailing and um, her horse bolts and yeah, that's where I'm at. I don't know. Um... I'm sure she'll be rescued or, you know, whatever, because that's just the way this is, but, but it's, I'm enjoying this book. It's just that, oh, oh my goodness, now I'm confused again. What's going on? <laughs> but it is keeping my attention. I did read quite a bit. I think last night, um, and I, I am uh, in the 400s now for pages, so I am making progress. Even if it's slow progress. <laughs> Mm. Yummy, yummy coffee. I don't know if it's supposed to rain today. Hey Google, what's the weather today? Today in Salem, it'll be rainy with a forecasted high of 53 and a low of 41. Right now it's 45 degrees and mostly cloudy. Okay. 
but she's kind of been lying to me lately. I mean, our rain, it's not pouring rain. It's just a drizzle every once in a while. Hey Google, when's it supposed to start raining? Today in Salem, there's a good chance of scattered rain from now until tomorrow at about 6 a.m. Scattered. Okie dokie. That's okay. I'll wear my rain jacket today, or actually my coat because it's long. I had my shower this morning. I still need to dry my hair. Ugh, I need to get in and get my hair cut. Oh my gosh. They need to... Actually, it's just kind of... My hair gets real bulky. And... I don't know. I just... I don't like bulky. I wish it would just lay down and behave. Boy, there's a lot of whys. Just like with the T's, we're kind of scattered around. Sometimes it's kind of hard to do the checkerboard when they're scattered like this because they're just all over the place. It's still dark out there. I think we'll finish up this tray and then I'll let you go. I gotta do the dishes because I was lazy and didn't do them last night. There's not that many, but I don't use my dishwasher. I, I don't cook that often, so, well, I cook, but you know, It's just small things, so I don't have a lot of dishes. It's just easier to wash them by hand, not sit in the dishwasher for a week waiting for it to fill up. And Truthfully, I have never been really a dishwasher type of person because I do not like emptying it. That is one thing I will procrastinate on. I don't know what it is. I just do not like emptying the dishwasher. So do we see any teas up here? If not, then I think I'm going to... I don't think I missed any. I'm doing pretty good. Yep, so I'm going to put those back. You know what? I'm going to do it this way. Because this, well, I guess it's got a spout right there I could have used. I'm just going to put those back in there. 
because I have a few things I'm going to be doing, so I need to not get myself confused. There we go. Done and dusted. All right. Well, thanks for stopping by. I hope this wasn't too boring. I didn't have too much to say today, but, you know, that's the way it is. Sometimes, you know, I just don't have any real excitement, but... I do appreciate you stopping by and visiting with me. I always like that. And if you like this video, yep, give it the old thumbs up. And if you um, have not become one of my friends, I'd love to have you as a friend. Um, so hit that friend button, a.k.a. subscribe. And um, you can also push the little bell and that will notify you when I put up videos. So I will chat with you later and thanks for stopping by.